What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went to the Salacion Ruins, and now, it's finally time to get the heck out of there and go straight to Route 210, because, uh, well, we miss a lot of battles. We need to battle. Now, I did stock up on a, on a few things off-screen, you know, just to get this whole, uh, thing going. I mean, I will be doing a lot of stuff off-screen, just to make sure that, you know, we get our Pokemon nice and leveled up, but we have to get the Veilstone, and it's going to be a trip, I'll tell you that right now. It is going to be a trip. So, let's go ahead and just continue grabbing berries right here, doing our thing, making sure that we, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're being cool as we can be right here. Now, there are Pokemon trainers, there are going to be a lot of stuff in the grass in this area, a lot of rare Pokemon, to be quite honest. So, like I said, I'm keeping an eye out for a lot of Pokemon, uh, a lot of routes so I can capture some different types of Pokemon. That and going into the Grand Underground, that way, you know, we level up and capture some rare Pokemon that we have yet to capture. Uh, as many of you guys already know, a few episodes ago, literally found out a lot of stuff about the Grand Underground. Holy, totally did not follow directions. That's, that's all I can say. Did not follow any directions, so this is where we're at, just figuring it out right here while making the walkers. So, look at that, Apom getting its butt kicked. Yes, look at that getting its bucket by another monkey Pokemon right here. And he's coming out with a Psyduck right here, so let's go straight for Electro Start. Alrighty. Let's go. Electro Star getting it. And, well, Psyduck coming out. Ready to go right here. And, well, he comes in Intimidate from Electro Star. Ready to go right. Okay. Alrighty. And then, well, Cloud9, obviously we're not doing any kind of, like, moves right there. Like, weather-based moves. So let's go straight for a spark attack, and uh, look at that, look at that, okay, spark attack does it. It did it. Alrighty, okay, and well, here comes a giraffe rig, so let's go straight for Hydra right here. Graphic, as many guys already know, it is both a uh, psychic and normal type of one, the only one of its kind, I think. Comment down below if I'm wrong about that. And well, it has two heads right there. Alrighty, the inner focus is making sure that this guy does not get uh, anything going. So let's go with a crunch attack. And that right there is super effective. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay. And uh, Rosemond, look at that, level 28. And uh, Rancher Marco, not happy at all. He is not happy. Gattaca. Okay, uh, let us move on right here. Obviously we need a bike. There we go. And we are going to be battling some trainers right here. Double battle. So it's a, it's, a, it's a better time than anything to actually, you know, to actually battle our Pokemon right here. Now, Pennywise, kind of, actually, both, all my Pokemon are leveled up, like, evenly and stuff. This is, this is, the, this is exactly what I mean, guys, that I kind of want to, kind of want to increase the levels of my Pokemon. Um, I'm, again, I'm still trying to get the groove of this game right here. I mean, I did figure everything out. Like, I did figure out some stuff here in this walkthrough, which I'm going to be using for my uh, shiny crystal and all that stuff. Not only that, but I'm going to be doing, like, a lot more. A lot more capturing and all that crud. Maybe breeding Pokemon just to make things uh, a little fun. Trading, you know, that kind of stuff. And, well, let's go right ahead and start uh, the Maldi Whopping right here. So let's go with a Clefairy. Let's go with... I uh, kind of don't want to do that. But we gotta have to, so let's go straight for a flame wheel right here. Flame wheel on the Clefairy bounces off. Here comes a waterfall attack. Please don't get paralyzed. And there we ah oh, crap baskets. There we go. Told you. I freaking told you. Well, like I was saying, guys, in the last few episodes, I'm currently recording this episode on Christmas Day. Don't worry, guys. I've already done all my Christmassy stuff. I went and visited my nieces and nephews. Uh, did the, the, the Santa thing, you know, that, the whole spiel. I did it all. And I figured that, you know, I might as well keep it, uh, keep it going, record some extra episodes while I'm at it. I know that this is a day where we can all relax and just watch movies, and, you know, do things for our families and stuff, but you know what? Knocked it out of the way early in the morning, so we're good. We are good. We get some episodes done. This is a Christmas present, or a late Christmas present from me to you guys right here. And, uh, let's see, let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon, because, yeah, this is, uh, not good. Alrighty, let's move. No, we can't go in there, and, yes, we're gonna get attacked by another Pokemon trainer right here. Hey, check this out, look at my luster of all my Pokemon's fur. Okay, alrighty. 
Okay, so here we go. Khalil wants the battle. He's not Khalil Mac, but he's Khalil. Okay, alrighty. Hmm. Let's get it. Let's uh, let's work for it right here. And yeah, my Pokemon's uh, yeah admiring the surrounding views. Let's go straight for a flame wheel. Now, let's see what else. What else can I? I know that I've been talking about this for quite some time. But but I cannot wait to start the full new year because, again, there is a there, there's a nice plan going on right now. I'm currently looking looking at my stuff, actually my Amazon, because there is something that I have I have actually ordered that is going to come in handy come the you know come when we come the following year. I get it. It's a little it's another new me new thing and all that stuff. But it's not really new me new year and all that crud. It's more of like you know. New Year, a lot of new uh, stuff for this channel right here. We have finally crossed, well, we've crossed 11 years, guys. Holy crud, that is 11 years. Some of you guys who are just watching this, you guys were probably born the year I actually started this channel. That That's that's crazy right there. That's really crazy. Why are you paralyzed, Rosemont? Seriously! Damn you, Pikachu. And, uh, well, look at that. Aaron playing Pokemon Shining Pearl. Aaron, if you are... One of my subscribers, Merry Christmas, buddy. And yeah, just like that, we are, yeah, we are paralyzed. I hate that. I really do hate paralysis. It just messes with me all the time. So there we go. We are not paralyzed anymore. And this guy's gonna go with the nuzzle again. Good gravy. And not very effective. God dang it! Okay. So the curse of paralysis is back in. Okay, Ultra Psycho. Yes. We're gonna do this. It's time. Time for elimination. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. And there's a nuzzle attack again. And why are you paralyzing me, you asshole Pokemon? Oh my god, okay. Confusion. Finish him. There we go. We're still faster than you. That's right. Eat a dick. There we go. Jesus Criminy. Okay. Let's go. And, uh,. Coming out with a happy and you know what? Screw it. We're gonna go straight for Inferno Mon. We're gonna just go straight for a elimination right here. See, this is the reason why, like, you know, paralysis is just not my friend. It's like I always seem to be affected by it somehow. Oh my god. And here we have a Hapini. Let's go with the Mod Bunch. Look at that. Fast. Furious. Mm -hmm. Vin Diesel style. Okay, alrighty. And that is how the cookie crumbles. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Let us move the heck out of here. Okay. Let's grab this, and we found ourselves a great ball. Now, my biggest issue in this game and in Shiny Pearl is uh, why do they come out with, like, the, the great ball and the ultra ball a little too late? That, that kind of bugs me a little. It really does. And does this guy want to battle? I'm going to keep running. Just get as long as the run. Okay. He's probably an early morning kind of guy. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, heal our Pokemon. Yeah. They probably should have put the Great Balls and Ultra Balls a little earlier than expected, guys. Because trust me, in the Grand Underground, these Pokemon are tough as hell. And I'm taking a rest. If I were a bird Pokemon, it would be a roost. <laughs> uh, you should rest up, too. And there we go. We got ourselves the TM51s. And that is roost, which eventually will, uh, you know, heal your Pokemon, your flying-type Pokemon. All right, we got another double battle right here. I'm going to be well, I'm going to be smart about this one. Let's go ahead and swap out to two very awesome Pokémon right here. Let's go. I can get away with slacking off if I had my Pokémon out. Ooh, I'll show y'all. Uh, I, I will show y'all tightly bonded my with my my daughter. Absolutely, still cannot read. Okay, so let's go right ahead and continue the battle right here, going up against Ranchers Ava and Matt. Obviously, she wants to show the backside because mm, booty culture. Gotta love the booty culture. And well, here we go. Let's go straight ahead and start destroying everybody. Uh, you know what? Let's go with a flash because obviously, yeah, there we go. Okay, obviously. Uh, Skuntank is, or Skunk, or whatever the Pokemon his name is, yeah, it's still a, it's still a dark type Pokemon, so we gotta keep uh, an eye out for that. So here we go with a flash attack, that way, bam, lowers his accuracy all the way down, all the way down, okay. 
And here comes a bite attack. Obviously, that's going to hurt me a little bit. So let's go straight again for... Let's go with a flame wheel attack, okay? And let's go for a recover, just because we're that Pokemon right now. So there we go. Recover for the first time. And... Well, there we go. Look at that. Recovered all the way. There we go. And... Uh, well, there comes a bite attack. Still not beating this Pokemon. You know, one of the Pokemon that bugs me the most is, is the Stunky line. They always seem to be the most, I, I would have to say, the most, uh, how should I put it, the most stubborn kind of Pokemon. Because you try to beat them with one punch, but they can't, they, they just don't, and the next thing you know, you don't have the typing for it. I really do need a ground type Pokemon, which, you know, which brings up the subject. Seriously, Nintendo, you had to take, uh, you had to take away the, the cave. You really had to take away the cave where I can capture Gibble. Acles. And this is exactly what I mean, because we need strength for that for that situation. The only problem is, we do have strength, but we do not have the badge for it. And trust me, we were not going to have strength or the badge for it for quite some time. So before we go on and battle this guy, let's go right ahead and battle... Actually, yeah, we're just going to battle this person. I'm a rookie breeder, but I'll do my very best. Mm-hmm. She will do her very best to try and eliminate me. And here we go. Amber wants the battle. And here she's going to be coming out with a Cleffa. All right, Cleffa. I see what you're doing. I'm going to destroy you. All right. So there's something right here that I needed to talk about. Okay? I know I'm going off topic again. Not very effective. Really? Huh. Some of you guys have been saying... Uh, why are you going on in, in, in portions? Why can't you just do a full hour uh, segment on on the on the town? Well, here's the thing, guys. I would like to keep you guys' attention every so often. You know, I would I, I would really love to do that. And for me to do at least 30 minutes and, and more, it, it's just eh, I, I kid you not. There, I've gotten people telling me that yeah, you know, I, I sometimes doze off at the 30 minute long. 30 minute mark. That's why I try to edit these and make it as short as I can be. Remember back then when I first started YouTube, um, we only had a 15 minute limit, which is hilarious. It wasn't until like you reach a certain amount of subscribers that you can actually, that you can actually, what was it, uh, you know, sign up for that like beyond the 15 minute line. And for me, it's more of like, I kind of want to just, you know, I, I kind of want to do it in portions, not for the amount of videos, but just because, you know, it breaks off, it breaks the game off in sections and stuff, if you guys catch my drift. Alright, now, as you can see right here, bam, we the Psyduck are standing firm, they aren't inclined to move at all. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Alright, so let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. The, ca the Cafe Cabin Farm Fresh Milk, okay. Let's see what we got right here. And, well, let's see. Oh, wow, we're going to be battling. Never mind. Never friggin' mind. All right. Let's go. Waitress Kai would like to battle. So this is just experience points right here. Lots and lots of experience points. Here we have a Clefairy. We're about to use a different amount of Pokemon right here. So Infernomon, get ready to go right here. And it really wants to play with you. So let's go. Yeah. I seriously thought that Clefairy was weak to fighting types, especially fairy types, you know. Fairy types were were, 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 were weak against fighting types, I completely forgot about that, so never mind. Anywho, let's go ahead and uh, keep on doing the flame wheel. Let's go. Flame wheel for the win. Flame wheel does it. Say goodbye to the flame wheel. And there we go, more experience points for all of us. Hydra growing some levels, and yes, the waitress has been defeated. A big old smile right there. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so let's see. What do you have to say right here? Uh, after a match, you should have some moo milk to quench your thirst. Just chug it right down. Look, look. Okay, let's see what we have right here. Uh, yes, we can have some moo milk. Let's go ahead and buy 10 just because, you know, it, it might. You know, it might come in handy a little bit later. And yes, you're going to be battling a whole bunch of traders right here. So let's go. Bring it. Here we have a Collector Edwin wanting to battle. And there we go. Pseudo Wudo wanting to battle us right here. Holy crud. Okay. 
Infernomon. Get you. Get, get, get ready for this. Get ready. And you know what? It is a rock type Pokemon, so let's go with a Mog Punch right here. Look at that. Breaks it up. And then, well, this guy's going to go with the block attack. So obviously, we're going to be uh, preventing, or they're gonna, he's going to prevent us from not going anywhere. So let's go again with another Mog Punch right here. Mog Punch for the win. And there we go. Holy crud. All righty. So there we go. More experience points for all our Pokemon. Pennywise is growing in Electrostar 2. And he's about to come out with a pseudo Wudo. So let's go ahead and switch it up. Let's go with Hydra right here. Let's see what good old Hydra has to say. Mm -hmm. Hydra does it. Hydra's ready. And, uh, well, pseudo Wudo's coming out. And let's see what the Hydra, or let's see what the pseudo Wudo has to say right here. Let's go with a waterfall. <laughs> And yes, the quick fall is actually working for us because yes, Hydra's a little slow, just a little slow. So there we go. Let's get it. Okay, alrighty. So that's experience points. And seriously, how many pseudo wudos do you have, homeboy? Come on. Let's go. Let's get it. There we go. And there you go. We have defeated the next one. Okay. And just like that, Edwin has been, well, he has been collected himself, so there we go. We have defeated him. Okay, so I guess we have to battle everybody, I guess? Yes. Everybody. Just about everybody. Okay. So, Collector Fernando wants to battle us. He's like, come out, Mr. Mime. Okay, Mr. Mime. It's about to catch these hands right here, and here comes the Infernomon. Ready to go, and uh, yeah, there is one little weakness, and that is that, you know, we're still fighting type Pokemon, so let's go straight for the Flame Wheel right here. Let's go, Flame Wheel, for the win! Look at you, look at you. You have been defeated. Oh, yes. And, uh, well, look at that, Rosemont grows to level 29, and we're coming out with another Mr. Mime right here, so let's go straight for, you know what, let's go straight for Pennywise right here. Pennywise, needs some loving. Just a little bit of living right here. Okay, alrighty. Let's see it. Okay, Mr. Mime, get ready to go right here. Alrighty, so let's go straight for a Shadow Ball. Super Kamehameha, Dark Kamehameha for the win. And that almost wrecks Mr. Mime right there. So here comes a Confusion Attack. And yeah, this guy's not playing around. Holy crud. Okay, so let's go again with another Shadow Ball. Look at that, Super Kamehameha for the win. And there goes Mr. Mime. Yeah, buddy, okay. And Pennywise, you know, we equipped it with the shell, shell, or the shell, 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 or, I don't know, some kind of shell thingy, shell bell, yeah. It will, uh, it will actually, you know, stay healed up and all that crud. Because it does take a lot of damage since it is one of my weaker Pokemon. So let's go straight for a Shadow Ball right here. Let's go. And there we go, super effective, and that takes away Mr. Mime. Oh, yes. Okay, alrighty. And there goes more Shell Bell and more experience points. And just like that, we have defeated our next opponent. And, well, I think we have another opponent. Youngster, you've seen Psyduck huddled outside? Psyducks are Pokemon that suffer from chronic headaches. I'm afraid we'll have to wait uh, for them to get better. Kind of sucks because, uh... <laughs> I don't know. Howdy, Traveler! Some of our customers are rowdy, or the rowdy types and want to battle, but pay it, pay it no mind and stay a while. Oh, I guess. I guess so. I don't know. Anywho, uh, let's see. Here we are at Route 215. Let's continue on right here. Now, I was planning on stopping right at Route 210, but you know what? Since some of you guys have been saying it, you know, that I need to stop doing that, I might as well just start battling everybody I see right here. You know, talk about my day. It's Christmas as I'm recording this, and, you know, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and switch to Hydra. Since it is raining, it, it does give us a little bit of a boost. Okay, I'm a treasure hunter. Today, the loot is victory from you. Whatever. Okay, alrighty. May it ruin Maniac Calvin wants to battle, and here comes his Bronzor. Now, let's go ahead and get off topic a little bit, guys. The new Pokemon game, Arceus, it's going to be coming out next month. And I know for a fact 
like, I have a gut feeling that Nintendo is going to, like, connect both this game right here, or Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, they're going to connect it to the RCS game in some kind of form. Because if you guys remember, uh, back then, back then trying to get yourself a, a an RCS was damn near impossible if you didn't have, like, a game, uh, like, a, a game cheating device and all that stuff. Um... And I, and I do believe that in this game right here, you know, in, in this day and age, you can, they're allowing you to get the RCS because, again, damn near impossible and whatnot. Um, I kind of feel as though that they're going to add a, like, an extra thing here and there, you know, like a mystery gift, something that we haven't seen, uh, some mythical Pokemon and whatnot. Uh, something that I want to see, something that I definitely want to see, in uh, the new game, I, I, I know that they've shown different forms, like uh, the regional variants of se several different Pokemon, but I kind of want to see, like, you know, maybe a little bit of backstory to... Well, no, not a little backstory. That's exactly what's going to happen, but a little backstory to maybe, you know, the Pokédex, ancestral stuff, that kind of stuff. Um, damn. Maybe evolution forms, or maybe, like, ancestral forms for, like, you know, Pokemon that don't evolve and whatnot, or, you know, the reasons why these Pokemon can't evolve. I don't know, I'm just, like, I'm just talking out of my butt right now. So, here we have this, guys, like, do, 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 uh, do unto, unto others as they do unto you. Yup, it's payback! It's good for Pokemon battles, but if you do that in real life, there'll be no end to the fighting, that's for sure. Well, you guys already know that I'm very, very good at the payback. I am very, very good at that. Anywho, let's move on right here. We do have quite a few uh, TMs and all that stuff. And, well, let's go right ahead right here and cut some stuff. Thankfully, well, thank thank you, Arceus, for giving us the HM uh, on our Pokétex and all that stuff. And, yes, this guy's looking at us, all me mugging us and all that crap. Now, let's see, what else? This game is going to take place, like, back in the day, you know, very, very back in the day. Obviously, Mewtwo is not going to exist at that time, because it is a Pokemon that was uh, created. It was created by, what, Professor or, you know, Mr. Fuji and all that stuff. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else do I want to see? Maybe... I want to see Giratina in this, because if I remember correctly for Pokemon Platinum, there was two. There was a separation of both uh, Palkia and Dialga, Dialga from you know the, the the only one that's Arceus. But I kind of want to see the story leading up to to Giratina, the creation of the creation of what was it called again um, of the Distortion World, because obviously we're not going to get it right here. So we might as well get it over at the you know in Pokemon Arceus and whatnot. The creation of that maybe it might like I I think this is what's going to happen. Maybe the the, the distortion world may be the uh, the creation of Mount Coronet, or what led to Mount Coronet. I don't know. We'll see. Let's find out. These are these are valid questions, I guess. I don't know. Uh, you guys tell me what you guys think is going to happen in Pokemon Arceus. Um, hopefully, you know this episode will come out before you know Arceus does come out. That way we can talk just a little bit more about it. Anywho, let's go ahead and just destroy this guy right here. And here comes a detect attack. Crap baskets on a crap circle stick. We don't... Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Good gravy. Okay, so it protected itself. Let's try it again. Shadow Ball and good gravy, man. It's getting annoying. It really does get annoying. All right, let's try this again. A Shadow Ball, because we all know that the third time... Is what? Are you serious? So I guess third time is the goddamn charm. Oh, my God. Okay, let's try it one more time. Okay, so I guess it's only allowed three times. Jesus, cry me. Alrighty. So there we go. Shadow Ball for the win. And just like that, we have increased a little bit more HP. And we keep on growing, which is great. And, well, we have defeated this guy right here. Okay. Alrighty. Oh my god, I know what the scene is. And, yes! Okay, so as you can see, guys... Pennywise is finally evolving. And that was pretty... That was actually very quick. Very, very quick. So, we caught Pennywise a few episodes ago. He was on a Friday. And... Look at that. It has evolved into Driflim. A very, very bulky, very awesome Pokemon right here. 
And look at this guy. The blimp Pokemon. It does sound like a balloon right here. They're drowsy in the daytime, but fly off in the evening in big groups. No one knows where they go. Maybe the circus. Now, it wants to learn Phantom Force. This is an awesome move right here. Let's see. The user vanishes somewhere and then strikes the target the next turn. This move hits even if it, the, uh, the target protects itself. Oh my god. I am going to take away Swallow because, well, I don't really heal myself that much. I, 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 that's why I have potions and all that stuff. Okay, alrighty, so that's taken care of, and it's nighttime already, holy crud, and here we get the fist plates, and three beings were born in the bind time and space. Little clues, guys, little clues on everything that goes on right here, and well, we're going to be finding another guy. You know what, let's go ahead and take a look at our TMs right here, kind of want to sort them out by number, and see if I actually do have a, fi a flying type move. Worth, that's worthwhile and stuff. So let's see. We can always use Bullet Suit for uh, Rosemon. Let's see. Taunt, Low Sweep, Brick Break, which, yes, I'm probably going to be using later on. Uh, Bolt Switch, um, Attract, Thief. Here we have Steel Wing, and yes, none of my Pokemon can learn it. Here we have Roost, um, Payback. Uh, let's see, this. the user stores power, then attacks. If the user moves after the target, this attack will be du doubled. Okay. And then we got Stealth Rock, Snarl, Sleep Talk, and Grass Knot is a very good move, which three Pokemon can learn. We got Pluck. The user pecks tar the target if the target is holding a berry. The user eats it and it gains its effect, which is also very nice. Substitute. Here we have Cut. And let's see, we got Strength, which we can actually teach a Pokemon here and there. And Rock Smash, which we kind of accidentally taught a Pokemon, which was whatever. Anywho, let's just move on ahead. Let's go ahead and just start battling other people. You know, this is going to be a, a nice long episode since many of you guys, you know, kind of want a little bit of longer episode and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and take this guy on. Check the sharpness of my fight type Pokemon moves. Okay, let's get it. Here we go, taking on Black Belt Derek, and he is coming out with a Krogon, a Pokemon that, you know, is very interesting to me. It's both psychic, or it's both uh, poison and fighting type right here. And it is raining, and here comes the anticipation from a Krogon. Now, it is both a fighting and a poison type Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and just quadruple the damage right here. There we go, and just like that, no more. Rogunk, and yes, we can move on ahead right here. Now, there are quite a few trainers, so got to be uh, on alert right here. So let's go ahead and use a repel. I know, I know. Actually, hold on. <laughs> trigger. Trigger happy. Trigger happy. Look at that. There we go. And, well, let's go ahead and uh, continue on our adventure right here. Look at that. We found some berries, and yes. Man, I'm actually happy that they uh, actually put the HMs in the uh, in the Poketech app rather than just giving it on a Pokemon right there. It was, it's much more convenient. It's, you know, you get around everywhere. And you don't have to actually, like, base your, your teams on that anymore. And, well, let's see. Can't go anywhere right there. What is this? Trainer tips. The Pokemon's attacks are classified as being either physical or special. A spe or physical attack is based on an attack stat on the Pokemon. A likewise special attack is based on the special attack, which you know that was a actual that was actually a very good thing that uh, Pokemon did. And look at this, we found ourselves a guard spec. And let's go. Let's see. Yes, we we need more uh, repels because we do not want to get attacked by anybody. And that's a shortcut right there. Kind of wanted to did it. I kind of did it just for that. And this guy is looking at us. Every drop of sweat I shed makes me the uh, much stronger. Yes, it is me. It is me. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Okay, taking on Nathaniel right here. And he is coming out with his Krogonk. Okay, alrighty. So here we go. Ultra Psycho ready to go. And... Well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a, another Confusion attack right here. It doesn't matter if it's physical or special. I think I got our Pokemon. Uh, I think our Pokemon's gonna be okay. And look at that, Krogon stood no chance. Quadruple damage right there. And look at that, Ultra Psycho, the second member of our team, going into the level 30s. Let's go ahead and see what Psyshock does. So this one right here, 
the user materializes odd psychic wave to attack a target. The attack, the attack does physical damage. What the heck? Okay, so that that right there is probably a little gamble. Um, let's go ahead and take away Flash. Don't really need it anymore. We can always buy Flash. But let's go ahead and see what Psyshock does. If it's a special attack, then why in the hell does it say it physically attacks? I want to know that. It's kind of weird to me. All right, let's go Psyshock, see what this does. And here we go. Psyshock. And uh, well, it, it works well against fighting type Pokemon, so pretty good. Pretty good stuff right there. And just like that, we get more Pokemon to increase. Here he's coming out with the a Metatite, so let's go ahead and let's see what was it? Oh yeah, let's go with Pennywise. Pennywise. Oh yes. Pennywise. Looking uh, big and balloon type and everything. It's floating around and going up against a Metatite. It's dreaded enemy right there. Let's go ahead and use that Phantom Force. Now I actually thought the Phantom Force was like Giratina's uh, special move, but it really wasn't. But here we have Phantom Force, bam! Whooping the you-know-what at a Metatite, and, uh, well, it is super effective, and it does it. Okay. Alrighty. And just like that, we get more experience points, and we win. We get more we get more monies for that, which is great. And, well, let's go right ahead and move on right here now. Let's see. Could find an item right here? Probably? I don't know. I could be wrong. Nope, no item. But there is an item right there. We are close to being done right here. You can see that. And here we found ourselves the TM34 Shockwave, which is a very, very, very important move for any electric type Pokemon that I could have. And I don't think this guy wants to battle us. Jogging is good for you, but you have to make sure you're not overdoing it. That is true, guys. You don't want to get shin splints. Trust me. Those are not pretty. And here we found ourselves a full heal. Always nice to have that. And well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go. Let's put. Uh, let's put some combination right here. Let's see. Let's uh, walk together with uh, Hydra since it's raining. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and swap out Pokemon. Let's go with Pennywise right here. And alrighty, we got a double battle going. <laughs> they want to battle us. Okay. Bring it on. So here we go, going up against Ace Trainer Maya and Dennis. And here they're coming out with a Glam Meow and. Yeah, Glam Meow and a, what you might call it, uh, a Monferno. And let's see. Let's go with a Psy Shock to this guy. And let's stockpile for the next move. That way, you know. We, well, we can't really hit this Pokemon right here because it is a Dark Fat Pokemon. So. There we go, Monferno has been defeated. Look at that, look at that, okay, alrighty. And Electrostar growing to level 30, and well, here comes a stockpile. Increasing both our, increasing everything of ours, look at that, okay. So look at this, okay, look at that, a special attack, and here comes an aerial ace attack, something that I probably need for this Pokemon right here. And here comes a Gyarados, holy crud, okay, so. The Intimidation is here, and yes, our attacks are going down just a little bit, just because of this whole thing right here. So, now that we got a Pokemon to attack, let's go ahead and use this attack right here, and let's go ahead and use Spit Out attack right here for Glammeow. It is a Dark-type Pokemon, so let's go Psyshock, and that takes away Gyarados. We're beating up on one of these guys real quickly. Okay, let's go. Pennywise, use the Spit Out. And that one takes away Glammeow. So hopefully this guy does not have any kind of uh, other dark type Pokemon. And luckily for us, yes, the Shell Bell does heal us. And well, <laughs> there's no more, uh, there's no more uh, this and that. And, you know, you guys know what I mean. And here comes a Kadabra. So yes, we have automatically won. Look at that. You know what? Let's go ahead and use a Recover. Not really gonna do much, but here we go. Shadow Ball for the win. Why prolong this whole thing right here? Why prolong it? Here we go. Shadow Kamehameha for the win. Say goodbye to Kadabra. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And, well, there's a little bit more. It's fully healed now, which is great. And, yes, we have defeated the Ace Trainers. They are not happy right now. Definitely not happy. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. 
What? Another evolution. I did not realize this, guys. <laughs> I really didn't. Okay, so... One of our longest standing Pokemon in this walkthrough is finally evolving. Two evolutions in one episode. Holy crap, and look at this. Look at it. Oh, my God. Electrostar finally evolved into a Luxray. Oh, yes. Look at this Pokemon. Luxray, the Gleam Eyes Pokemon. 4 foot 7, 92 pounds of pure muscle. It has eyes that can see through anything. It spots and captures prey hiding behind objects. Sucks. Okay, so that right there was pretty impressive. And, well, look at that. We are reaching the final part of uh, Route, Route 215 right here. And, yes, we are taking these uh, Wiki Berries because uh, we kind of need them. And... Let's go ahead and grab these Mago Berries right here. Yeah, buddy. All righty. Okay, the Mago Berries are good. Yeah, buddy. We finally got out of here. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I wanted to go to Celestic Town, but there are some Pokemon in the way. Yeah, that is true. We don't need any more, any more repels. Let's go right ahead and just move on. Here we are in Veilstone City. And right from the get-go, we we're going to see some Team Galactic guys right here. And, yes, there is a Pokemon Gym right here. What we're going to do right now is, uh, yeah, we're going to go to the Pokemon Center because this is exactly where we're going to be finishing it off. So, that was a damn good episode, guys. A very, very damn good episode. Anywho, off screen. It's been 20 episodes. I am going to be doing a lot of adventuring off screen, guys. So, if you do see some of my Pokemon bulked up and everything and you see some new... Pokemon on my team, it's probably because of that. So, anywho, guys, thank you guys again for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.